Jimbo's Garage. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jimbo's Garage, I'm Jimbo. Well, the other day, one of my guys uh, dropped off the skill saw in the shop and said it wasn't working very good. He thought it'd be a good idea that we replace the cord. Obviously, you can see that uh, the cord has been put together with duct tape and got bare wire showing right here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace this cord. I've got a new cord right here and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that and we'll get the saw back in service. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're gonna take it apart and uh, you know, it takes, uh, it takes several different tools, different size uh, screws to take the handle off. Uh, there I had a strip screw, so I had to go to the screwdriver. Yeah, you know, it's an old tool. These things have been, I've probably replaced the cord and the switch a few times, so. All right, uh, so we've taken it apart, and now it's, uh, it's a good idea to, to pay attention to where the leads come from, the black, the white, and the green when you're taking it apart. Uh, so when you put the new cord back in, they get put in the right spot again. So um, I'm uh, taking the wires off the switch right now, and then uh, the ground. And this is just a standard, uh, yeah, like a 14 gauge uh, cord, the wires. Okay, so now we take it apart where the new cord comes in. Um, you want to measure the existing uh, area of the cord that was stripped. So each one of the black, the white, and the green are different lengths right there. So we want to make that the, they're all the same length again when we put it back together. And I've got some terminals here, the exact terminals that came off. So. I uh, got my wire stripper there, I'm stripped about uh, three eighths of an inch. Got a crimper, crimp them on there and be sure that, again, um, just pointing out that, uh, you know, they're different lengths. So when they go back in there, that, that there's not a lot of excess wire hanging out or you're having to tuck it away into the handle. So we're putting the new cord back in, tightening down the crimp right there. And there it is, the ground is going back on and here's the wire. This has got to be nicely tucked back in. There's not a lot of room in the handle. And uh, as I was uh, taking off the, uh, uh, adding the new wire to the switch right here, I had a little problem. The switch, uh, one of the screws uh, stripped. So um, uh, luckily I had a new switch. And so here we are, we're changing the whole thing out. And so not only are we replacing the cord, uh, putting a new uh, switch in there as well. And I'm just lucky I had that sitting around. I usually carry two or three of those uh, around. Uh, these saws come in quite often to the shop. and having to replace those are the most common things we replace so anyways we've got the new switch put on uh, getting the wires all tucked back in there getting ready to reassemble everything back together so when you're putting everything back together uh, be care uh, be careful and be sure that uh, the wires are, are tucked nicely in there like I said before that you know they, they there's not a lot of room for these uh, wires to store inside the handle and as you can see right here I as I was putting everything back together, I, I had a little bit of a problem. One of the wires was uh, pinched in the handle, so I had to take it all apart again. There it is right there. We tucked it back in and put it back together. Be careful not to tighten these uh, screws up too tight. We want to crack the housing, but uh, you know what? There it is, all back together and uh, hand tight everything and plug it in and there she goes. It's working. Okay, everybody. Well, there we go. I uh, got, uh, got the new uh, cord installed and uh, as you, as you probably saw, um, while I was replacing the cord, the one of the bolts of the switch stripped off, so you got a chance to see me install a new switch as well as a new cord. Uh, anyways, uh, there it is, all uh, back together, and it uh, works good. Uh, the saw is kind of old, but my guys tell me the thing works great, so um, be glad to get this back in service. And uh, as for the old switch right here, stripped out bolt, uh, that's no good. And then here's the old cord, and of course, um, there it is. It's all done. We get rid of that. That's no good. And uh, so there we go. New cord, new switch on skill saw, right back in service. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.